I see this a lot in the comment section. Do you ever notice that the column shift is blocking some of the screen on the GMCs? Yes, it definitely does block it. You know, you guys are a rock stars. You guys notice the littlest things. I don't really pay attention to it. And it doesn't bother me. And if you put it in manual mode, you know what? It's not blocking it anymore. So there you go. Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a 2024 GMC Sierra 2500. And this one has this famous Max trailering package. It's new for 2024. And we're gonna discuss it in this video. However, they made a mistake picking this package with these tires. And we're gonna discuss that. Special shout out to Jerry Siner, Buick GMC here. If you are in the market, be sure to ask for Frank. He actually ordered this truck for a customer and it should be going today. This is the window sticker for the 2500 we're gonna be reviewing today. And here's all the specs for it above. And be sure to pause it, but here's all the standard equipment. Base price comes in at $69,100. And here are all the options. Now that max trailering package is right here. And because this truck did come with 20 inch wheels, it does give you a discount of $1,100, which is why you see that there. The Duramax obviously is the most expensive option and the AT4 Premium Plus gives you a lot of cool features. Destination comes in at $1,895 with a total price of $85,840. One thing I like about the GMCs, especially the AT4, is it has the best overall design out of all the other trim levels, including the Denali Ultimate. I think that it's a lot more cleaner and it's just a little bit more sportier. And that's what I like personally. Forward facing camera comes standard, red tow hooks down below, parking sensors, full LED headlights and fog lights. And for 2024, they did add this on the side. In the past, you didn't know whether it was a 2500 or 3500 unless you looked at the leaf springs. Now, this one is a little different from the other AT4s that I've shown you. This one has an 18 inch wheel wrapped in a Hankook Dynapro MT2. So these tires are really aggressive. And then here's the tire size right there. LT275-70-18. And the capacity is right here. 3,640 pounds at 80 PSI. They did restyle this badge here. Looks a little bit nicer. Mirrors are pretty much the same. And then this one does have clearance lights. Even around the windows, the mirrors, the door handles, no chrome on this truck. And that's what I like about this one. This one also has power deployable running boards. Now they did, however, for 2024, cheap out and take away the smart key system for the rear doors. And I, I am a little upset by that. 36 gallon fuel tank, seven gallon DEF. You still have those steps on the side of the bed. And this is where you can really see where that max trailer package comes to life. So if you get a three quarter ton truck in the past, you would just have the five leaves in the main pack right there. This one does upgrade, as you saw in the window sticker, to two overload leaf springs and you get the HD one ton frame too. Also, this truck has a 12 inch ring gear out back. 342 rear end and then here are the tail lights. These are specific to the uh, AT4 and even Denali Ultimate doesn't have these. And these have a better style to them. They have like a black accent in them. Some of the badges out back. Multi Pro tailgate. So it acts as a step. You have a handle right here. And because this has the fifth wheel prep package, four and seven pin, fifth wheel prep package is there. And you have two cameras, one for the mirror and then one for the bed view for the truck. So for 2024, more horsepower, more torque, better combustion, better turbo. So that all equals to 470 horsepower, 975 pound feet of torque, 10 speed Allison, first, second, and third gear, super deep. You have Denso fuel pump and injector. So this is a reliable diesel. And hopefully as we get some miles on these bad boys, we'll see just how good they are. I will say low end torque was improved by 25%. You can really feel that. And I've done some towing videos with my dually. So if you want to go check those videos out, just check in my description. Now, as far as the interior goes, I won't take too much time. This truck is just, they're doing a great job. I think that they're on track to being the number one truck ever. 
because although Ford did redesign, we'll put that in quotations, they did not really change anything on the truck. Now, let me back up a second. In 2020, GM updated their cabs, their beds, and of course did a full redesign. Ford, however, redesigned the truck back in 2017 and they've just kind of been putting lipstick on a pig and you kind of can see that in the truck today. GM wins by default because they give you a lot of standard equipment in their trucks. Like, for example, this screen is pretty much standard across the board. And unless you get like a work truck, this is what you're going to get. This is also standard too. So unless you're getting a work truck, this is what you're going to see. Heads up display, they've been doing that for a long time. And just the fit and finish of this truck is just phenomenal. And where GM truly punishes the competition is on pricing. I know a lot of people love Ford, I know a lot of people love Ram, but you have to call a spade a spade. They're just too expensive. This truck has the price point and it did not go up that much compared to 2023. I had one and the price is probably about a thousand dollars difference versus Ram and Ford where they're probably, I don't know, five to 10 grand more, you know, dollar for dollar if you built a 2020 two versus 2023 and again you just get so much features in this truck the only thing i would like for them to really think about is the sound system the sound system in these trucks are not that great you do get 12 speakers i think in the denali ultimate ford has like what 18 speakers i think ram has 19 speakers and they have nine in this truck so yeah they definitely need to step their game up heated and ventilated seats the ventilated seats are great you have their Wireless charger right down below, power plug, two USBs here, and you have two more right there. And let's go ahead and go through this screen really quickly. This screen is very uh, customizable, so if you have an Android phone or if you don't, you can move this to the other screen. Um, if you want your climate control on this side, you can do that as well. You can also put things over here. So let's just see if you want your cameras right here, you can do that. And so home button is how you get back to the screen. So you can go to your navigation, for example, and then you can hit your home there or right on the screen too. One thing I like about the larger screens, and I've said this a lot, is they give you more information on the screen. And if you have your trailer set up with the tire pressure monitoring system, it shows your tire pressure and the temperature of the tires while you have your navigation up here and you can see your transmission tip, you can see a lot of other different things on the screen. So it's just all customizable, it works well together, and that's why I think GM is just gonna take you know, the, the crown this year because they just give you a lot for not that much money. And hey, the L5P diesel has been doing pretty good from what I can tell. I haven't heard of really anyone having a lot of issues with it, and they've made that engine a lot better for 2024. So here are the seats on the passenger side this is like that kalahari uh color and they have 10-way driver and passenger storage above i do like how they finish this in the velcro chevy just gives you hard plastic so if you put stuff in here it's gonna rattle and i like this a lot better sunroofs above and then here's some of the controls for that led lights and out back Outboard heated seats, two more USBs. There is no power plug out back, however. You have seat storage, and then you have seat back pockets there with storage below the seats here. Flat floor surface, and this cab is pretty darn big too. I had to do some research on this Max trailering because this package is kind of tricky. So here's what I discovered. As you saw in the title, do not buy max trailering with the AT4. I don't know why GM did this, but they force you to get the 18 inch wheel. Now I've already seen like five or six of these pop up at the dealership and I thought it was odd to see them with the 18 inch wheels with all the other options. So here's what they did. If you get an SLT, a Denali, they give you the 11750 GVWR. If you get a long bed, you get 11.9. With the AT4, they do not change it because it's 11,350. Now, that's basically what the standard gross vehicle weight rating is. So you still get considerable amount of payload capacity. With that being said, the problem with this package is 
they lower the conventional towing capacity so it's at 12,000 pounds. So in my mind, I went online to try to build one and it forces you to get the 18. So when you see those Hankook Dyna Pros, they do lower the towing capacity. As far as the fifth wheel towing capacity goes, it's pretty high as you guys saw. The only thing is you're still limited to the payload of the truck. So one thing you have to understand is this. Just because this has the one ton frame, rear suspension, and axle, this does not make this truck capable to tow what a one ton can tow. And so just keep that in mind if you are looking for a truck to tow a fifth wheel, really. I think this truck is better suited for someone who only plans on towing 10,000 pounds max and they don't necessarily want the one ton. So this is a great overbuilt truck for those smaller trailers. So keep that in mind if you are building your truck online and you're looking to order. If you want to tow a larger trailer, just go for the one ton. And I'll show you guys one last thing and then we'll end the video. Inside of here, they do show you how much capacity you have for a truck camper. This is the other reason why you would get the max trailering. If you would like a more beefed up truck to carry this, you have the one ton frame and suspension. So you can carry a truck camper at 2,190 pounds max. Okay? Now let me show you guys the capacities for the axles in the GVWR. So the rear axle is also reduced. So if you get a Denali or an SLT with a standard bed, the rear axle rating would be 7250. Gross combined weight rating is also reduced on the AT4 with these tires. And so you go from 30,000 to 27.5. So in my opinion, I would just say stick with the AT4 without the max trailering package because I don't know why GM did it this way. It's so weird why they chose to single out the AT4 like this. Now, maybe they'll change it in the future, but I would venture to say the AT4 is pretty much the same as the Denali. And the only difference is the AT4 could have slightly more payload capacity, which is why they didn't want to increase the GVWR. So with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Special shout out again to Jerry Siner. Uh, Frank is the salesperson on this truck. I'm pretty sure he sold it. The guy was pretty committed to buying it. So be sure to check out the inventory. Be sure to ask for him if you're in the market. And I'll see you guys soon.